So this is the basic assembly. In order to, to bond, you need to install the gold wire. So you take this, this manual spool holder, you open it, move this away, take away the cover, take away the glass tube, and then you unscrew this part in order to insert your gold spool. So here we have the gold wire. So this red tape should go to the bottom. And then you see, I see if this is well done. This is well done. So then you install this one. So you make this tight so the, glass, uh, the wire spool uh, is not able to move around. Then you insert this glass tube. Now it's time. So now you use this small threading wire which comes in the toolbox. You move this through this glass tube. attach the wire and you get the, the wire through. So now we have the wire looking through this glass tube. It's time we can carefully close the cover, close the fixation. Now we take this, this manual spool with the two screws and we will attach it to the bonder. like this. Always make sure that you look at the wire that, that you don't injure the wire that comes out of the glass tube. Now it's fixed. So the next step is that we move away the wire clamp like this. Go through the glass tube, same procedure. We attach the wire and up it's through the glass tube. So the next, so now the machine is, is ready for installing the tool. As usual. I prepare my torque wrench, I take one tweezer in the left hand, take out the tool, I open the transducer screw, make a little space here, I insert the tool, so two important things, so it's plain with the top level of the transducer and also that the flat face is to looking to the front. Now we thread the wire, therefore we can use a little bit of light. So I turn on the machine. Okay, mm -hmm. now I thread the wire through the tool, so I first prepare A pretty long part. Oh, it didn't work. So I thread the wires through the tool. So I prepare a long piece of wire like this one. Use the left hand for stabilization and And it goes through the tool and I pick it up on the button like this. 
now we have the wire going through the tool and I still have to thread it on the button which is done right now. So that's it. So now I open the clamp pressing this button. I put the clamp back in position. If the wire is not perfectly moving into the clamp I just help with the tweezer and now we're ready for the first bond. On this TFT display you set all your parameters. So you have ultrasonic, time and force for bond 1 and bond 2. So if you want to change the ultrasonic for bond 1, you press the button, you change and you confirm. You do the same with program. We have the possibility saving 20 different programs, which is a neat feature for different applications. You just open your specific program. Changing between bond mode only requires pressing this button and changing the tool, but you don't have to change any bond head. If you want to adjust your heater stage temperature, you just adjust the desired temperature and the heater stage will heat to that value. You can also manually open and close the, the wire clamp that's for threading the wire. On the puck you find four different buttons. So the first button is a reset button. So that means if the first bond didn't stick and you don't want to perform the second bond, you just press this button and this machine will restart at bond number one. Ultrasonic test button that's for thread helping threading the wire. And then you have clamp up and down. Means if the wire is too long or too short, you can always adjust it with the clamp. I checked the bonding parameters. So we are in wedge bonding mode. We have for the first bond 250 ultrasonic, 200 time, 25 force. And for the second bond a little bit higher ultrasonic, so 280. The heater stage is set to 50 degrees. And all the other settings fit fine. So I adjust the light. You move down the bond head with your right hand. Perform the first bond, which is automatically done by the machine. Then you move with your left hand for the bond length. And then you perform the second bond. For performing a bond, you move down the lever with your right hand, perform bond number one. Now you move up to loop height. With your left hand, you move to the bond length and then go down again, second bond and up, clamp feet and that's it. If your machine is equipped with wedge and ball bonding mode, then you can easily change it by pressing this button. So you have wedge, ball and bump bonding mode. One thing always to remember is that for wedge bonding you're using the clamp feed. For ball bonding you're using the table tier mode. If your machine is a wedge bonder only, then this button is disabled so you can only use uh, the wedge bonding mode and there will be no possibility to change to other modes. You can manually adjust the starting point of the set lever and I will show you how, how to perform the adjustment. You open the second screw which is situated here. You open it and you see that you can now adjust it. I adjust it to a point like this, close the screw and we try it out. So an important point is where is the bonding. So now we perform the bonding 
at about seven centimeters over the table. If this is too high, we just open one more time the screw and we go down a little bit. You can modify the brightness of the LEDs by just turning this knob. So this is the maximum and going down to, to zero and turn off.